So, next problem tayo. So, normal stress problem number 3. So, a rod is composed of an aluminum section rigidly attached between steel and bronze sections. So, as shown in figure P107, axial loads are applied at the positions indicated. So, if P equals 3,000 pounds and the cross-sectional area of the rod is 0.5 inches squared, determine the stress in each section. So, problem number 3. So, meron daw tayong aluminum attached between steel and bronze. So, na-affix daw yung ating material. So, yung steel daw is nasa left side. Then, aluminum nasa middle. And yung bronze is nasa right side. So, steel, aluminum, and bronze. Total length for steel is 2 feet. Total length for aluminum is 3 feet. And total length for bronze is 2.5 feet. Take note, nasa English units tayo. Ah. So, hindi na tayo gagamit na kilonewton, newton, and millimeter or meter. So, meron tayo yung force, tensile force equivalent to 4P from the left. So, ayan. So, ano ba yung hinahanap? Uh, ano yung hinahanap? Determine the stress in each section. So, ganito na yung gagawin natin, guys. So, simply, maghahati lang tayo. Or, meron pa pala dito. Meron tayong P. So, magkuat lang tayo na section. So, ito muna yung ikaat natin. So, ang mangyayari, meron tayong 4P dyan. Then, ito yung ating steel. So, di ba? Kinat natin yan. Ito yan. So, based from the equilibri uh, equilibrium equations or three equations in equilibrium pala so, kung ito is 4P para maging equal yan so, ito 4P din yan so, it means ang stress for steel for steel tayo is equivalent to P divided by A so, S so, S is the unknown so, ito yung hahanapin natin P so, ang value ng P is ito, 4P. So, S equivalent to 4P divided by A. So, ano ba yung area natin? So, area daw natin for each rod is equivalent to 0.5 inches squared. Then, yung P, nasa given na rin. So, yung P equivalent siya sa 4 times 3,000 pounds. Ayan. So, S equals P divided by A. So, 4 times 3,000 divided by 0.5 inches squared. So, ang stress natin for the steel is equivalent to 24,000 pounds per inch squared. Or equivalent siya sa 24,000 PSI. So, ayan. Okay na yan. Then next, so for aluminum tayo. Aluminum. So, dito naman tayo magkahat sa aluminum sa gitna. Okay? So, meron tayong 4P na force. Then, ito yung steel. Then, nandito yung aluminum. Then, kinat natin siya sa gitna. 2 feet and 3 feet. So, kung ito, meron kang force 4P dito, then sa aluminum wala. So, para maging equilibrium siya, so maglalagay ka din ng 4P. So, in short, aluminum and steel is simply equal. Since 4P lang naman sila parehas. So, ayan. In squared equals to 24,000 PSI. So, ito na yung stress natin for aluminum. And last, for bronze, So, for bronze tayo. Dito naman tayo magkakating section. So, meron kang 4P sa left side. Meron ka namang 1P dito sa right side. So, drawing natin. So, 4P. Then, steel. Aluminum. Then, cutting section, bronze. Then, may P. 
So, ito, 4 piece sa left side, then 1 piece sa right side. So, simply, para maging equilibrium yan, so, maglalagay ka pa ng 3P dito sa right side. So, based doon sa ating formula, S equals P divided by A. So, P, so, P natin magiging 3P divided by A. Then, next, 3 times P natin is 3,000 pounds divided by A, 0 0.5 inches squared. So, ang stress natin for bronze is equivalent to 3 times 3,000 pounds divided by 0 0.5 inches squared or equivalent to 18,000 pounds per inches squared or 18,000 PSI. So, ayan. So, ayan po yung stress natin for steel, bronze, and aluminum.